bending moment in footing. So to design for the or to ensure the safety against the bending moment, we need to play with the thickness as well as with the reinforcement or we need to provide the reinforcement in the footing. So footing slab of isolated or strip footing act as a cantilever beam subjected to uniformly distributed load. So this slab will be considered as a cantilever beam and it will be subjected to a uniformly distributed load. So flexural crack appear parallel to each side of the column close to the face of column. So the critical section will be close to the face of the column. So like over here. So in case of footing of concrete columns. So here we have a column which is all of concrete as well as the footing is also of concrete. So in that case the critical section will lie at the face of the column. But in case of masonry walls the critical section will be inside this wall. If the width of this wall is B then this critical section will lie inside at a distance B by 4. And in case of concrete footing under this steel column and this steel column have a base plate, steel base plate. So in that case the critical section will be at a distance S by 2 from the face of the column and S is the projection. So if this is the column and this is the base plate and here we have a footing. So this projection of this base plate is S and the critical section will be at a distance S by 2 from the face of the column. So this, these are the critical section for flexure. Okay, to design against the bending moment, a unit strip of slab is considered for designing for design spanning up to the critical section. So to design for the flagger, we consider a unit strip. Unit strip means a strip having width of 1 meter, 1 millimeter, 1 inch or 1 feet. So the bending moment for longer steel can be calculated MU time QU the applied load times L minus C1 by 2 square over 2. So we need to understand from this figure. So in this direction the critical section will lie at the face of the column so this will be the critical section and we need to consider this unit strip for the design. So the width of this strip will be 1 meter if we are using SI units. And if this is the width of the footing and this is the length of the footing so the span of this cantilever beam or this cantilever strip will be equal to L by 2 minus half of the column width C1 by 2 or we can write L minus C1 divided by 2. It's over here. So similarly span in shorter direction can be calculated. So here this is a design strip and the span this one span will be equal to B by 2 minus C2 by 2 or B minus C2 by 2. So in this way we, we can calculate the span. So we need to calculate this much distance. So this if this distance is L, so the bending moment will be equal to Q time L time L by 2 or Q time L square by 2. So this is actually Q, this is span and it's square by 2. This is Q span and it's square by 2. So uniformly distributed load under this unit strip multiplied by the length of this unit strip or the span of this unit strip multiplied by L by 2. The centroidal distance up to the critical section. Flagular reinforcement should be such that the nominal capacity or the design capacity of the footing against flagular should be more than the applied bending moment. So we need to provide the reinforcement to increase its flagial capacity and the flagial capacity of the section should be more than the applied bending moment in both the direction shorter as well as longer direction and this MU is the bending moment applied bending moment at a critical section which is normally at the face of the column in case of concrete columns footing. Okay, if bending moment in a column produces uplift on one side of the footing and soil above prevents this uplift top steel in the footing must be provided for bending moment calculated based on the weight of the soil. So this is the case if we have a concentric load so we need to provide the footing reinforcement at the bottom only because in that case the bending moment will try to 
or the soil pressure will try to uplift these sides so because of the soil the bending will be in this direction so we need to provide the reinforcement at the bottom only but if we have a footing and load is acting at some eccentricity or there is load as well as bending movement and this bending movement try to uplift the footing so it try to uplift the footing like this so on this side if we have tension so on this side if we have tension and the footing is uplifted but the soil above this footing prevent this uplift so in that case the scenario will be like this so we have a column the pressure is acting from the top so this movement try to turn it in this direction but this pressure of the backfill as well as the surcharge prevent this uplift on this side and as a result the scenario will be like that there is a pressure from the top so in that case it will try to bend it in this direction or the bending will be in this direction so we need to provide reinforcement at the top so we need to provide the top reinforcement as well in this case so next is about the distribution of footing steel for flagger so if we have a square footing so in that case the distribution of the reinforcement will be uniform whatsoever is the area calculated for this direction so we need to calculate the spacing of the footing based on the area of the reinforcement and then provide at equal spacing similarly for this direction but if our footing is rectangular so in that case the longer side reinforcement will be provided at uniform spacing but for the shorter direction reinforcement we need to provide more reinforcement in central band so in this portion we need to provide extra reinforcement or more reinforcement but on these edges we can reduce the spacing or reduce the area of the reinforcement so what we will do we will calculate the complete or the total area of reinforcement required for this direction for shorter direction or shorter reinforcement and then we will provide this much fraction of this total area to this central band and the remaining will be provided at the edges so the reinforcement in bandwidth which is equal to b this b so this bandwidth from here up to here it is equal to b by 2 is equal plus b by 2 so it is equal to b width of the footing so reinforcement in bandwidth over total reinforcement in shorter direction mean the ratio or the fraction of the reinforcement to be provided in the bandwidth out of the total reinforcement should be equal to 2 over beta plus 1 and beta is the ratio of longer to shorter side of footing so for example if we have a square footing so in that case beta is will be equal to 1 and this fraction will become 2 over 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 so it means reinforcement in bandwidth should be equal to total reinforcement but if we have this beta is equal to 2 so in that case it will be 2 over 2 plus 1 it will be 2 by 3 so what it means the reinforcement in bandwidth will be equal to 2 by third of total reinforcement so 2 by third of total reinforcement will be provided in this much area and the remaining one third will be provided in the remaining area on both sides mm -hmm.